Good morning. My name is Brian Johnson, and this morning I want to talk about Fry John's Pitbull Method for Dummies. Not really, but Dummies is a book I admire, and you can learn a lot from simple talk on the book's dummy series. This is Advanced Traders. I hope it's, I make it simple. As you remember, I virtually showed in the original Pitbull's Dummies on the Forex Factory the way of setting it up to set a, the, the Pitbull Dummy the, as an indicator using the 10 currencies. Of course, this is just to learn. It was designed to teach you that anyone can print money. And as such, it was to use a technique which was made into a PDF file. And this is it here. So you can go through it carefully, slowly, and work it out and watch the videos. Keep watching the videos until you start to understand it. But this is what you have to study, look, pause it, and go on. I'm not going to read it all out to you. But many of you have already done it. It was put on the uh, Forex factory and the thread was there. You could go back to that thread if it existed, the Forex factory. However, the Forex factory is not my preferred site. And I, I think that there are too many criminals on there. And at this stage, it's not a site that I would recommend. So this is the what was on there. You can read more on that site or you can simply go in and watch all my videos. There are over 200 on YouTube. I clearly state that anyone can print money, but managing drawdown is the key. This you have to understand before you start. So this is the basic PDF file in a simple form. You can then, I'll show you in the real form. This was designed to teach people to become profit conscious, to show them anyone can print profit and make profit. It's simple. When you see the profit, you take the profit. What's your entry? It's all up above. What's your exit? is profit. Most trade traders are lost focus. One needs to reprogram his brain. Profit conscious. See profit, take profit. Very important. It takes over 30 to change one's thinking. One needs to spend over 30 days practicing print profit. Not worrying about drawdown, just learn profit, all in demo, so that your brain is tuned to profit taking. You automatically see clear with clear eyes, profit, take profit, quick, fast, quick trading. You will not have a profit. This is what you'll learn. Unless you know how to control drawdown, you'll suffer a loss. Even with a 100% hit rate, which this will give you, you will still suffer loss. Next, you have to learn drawdown control. That is 30 days too. Imagine this. Trading, the Forex, is learning drawdown control. Drawdown control is the most important aspect of trading the Forex. If you can't trade draw, drawdown I say, what the F are you doing on the Forex? 90% of traders lose money trading on the Forex. 95%. 95% actually make money. Never invest in the Forex more money than you can afford that you're prepared to lose. Huh? Afford. Prepared to lose. Tip. The profit on the bottom line must be reducing before you take it. At least the amount of profit you're going to take. So if you're going to take twenty dollars profit, twenty pips, your drawdown has to reduce by twenty dollars, doesn't it? Before you take it. Now you're at the learning of take profit game mode stage one. One needs to learn fast action. No thought, take profit. Later learn drawdown control. Write the tips I give you down in front of you. As you learn profit, react. No thought trading. It takes a minimum of 30 days of high intensity trading. Practice, practice, practice. In demo mode. Only demo. Maximum order at any time is 12. I'll explain that later. Maximum set margin limit you use. You should always 
especially in the United States, control the amount of margin. Never put on any more if your margin's at risk. Only sit back and take profit. Don't put more on. Drawdown is, if the drawdown is greater than 10% of your account, stop trading. As simple as that. See profit, take profit. Then reduce your exposure before taking profit. See drawdown is going down to a minimum. One needs patience. Don't be greedy. Below current on the bottom line, profit trade. Now showing. So look at it. Profit should, e it should equal cost. 15 pips minimum. Anyone can sell at a profit, at an alleged profit, but if you don't cover costs, what are you doing? Your drawdown's going down. As simple as that. You're not covering the cost of your trade. The trading range needs to be a current 20 pips minimum in a four hour chart because if it isn't 20 pips, how can you make 15? Yeah, come on. These are simple things. Eight, write down any other points you pick up watching the video list and write them down and put them in your list. Train yourself to become a better trader. It takes time. Be patient. Don't be greedy. Watch the videos. Everything. If you're going to be a trader, knowledge is power. Learn the power. Click on the videos. Train yourself. Watch. Write down points. There's 35 years of trading experience in those videos. You must see everything with clear eyes. Practice, practice, practice. Write down the points. Okay, let's just go straight into it and we've set up some new videos, uh, new um, brokers for you today to look at and look at the advanced mode of I've just gone back over the novice mode needs a lot of practice a lot of training advanced mode we have put in the uh, 101's 14 currencies this morning and we looked here and I showed you that these even though it's only on for a while it's showing you that trade on these currencies at the moment are going long. Now we could in the video say the bottom line put put on the trade here and just put on an order for but we want to keep this as a pure indicator for your trading and notice it's got a little bit of room to move. It's got a um, what is it a 10,000 account using point one. so later on you can always put a point oh two on huh? and start a new little one up but this is purely an indicator this is an indicator this is your trade this has been sorted out here into uh, profit and loss down the highest so the bottom line that we talk about was when we want to trade the fastest moving currency now and how do you know that just look at the chart the first four We'll look at. We'll try and quickly look at those four charts. Look, you've got to look at the chart. Look where it is. It's getting near the resistance level. It's buy volume. So it's it's buy. Everything is buy, buy. Look at the New Zealand. It's buy. Uh, Euro, buy. It's starting to turn. You can always look there on the charts. One should look at these charts sometimes. US dollar, JPY. It's moving up, isn't it? Which is the best buy? Okay. We look at our basket daily. It's still showing uh, going short, so we have to be a little bit careful, don't we? Because everything else is saying buy. Our indicator is saying buy, but it's just a new one. So what did I do? This is straight away, looking at this, and I wanted to save time. time. On another demo. On another demo. We put in, this is a new demo, we put in the New Zealand, uh, uh, the JPY. What happened? It took off the Australian dollar. We should put it back on, shouldn't we? New, new order. Buy. Trade context is busy. This is the broker's greatest trick in the world. Trade context is busy. The criminals. What are they? The criminals. But look, we've managed to get three on. 
We need to see if we can get the uh, we can't get the Australian dollar back on, but maybe we can get the Euro US dollar. Wasn't that on the bottom of the list? The order. And it's a buy. It was a buy. Trade context is busy. There's nothing you can do it when you're dealing with criminals. Some brokers are worse than others. But look, what have we done? This morning we have three profits. And what did I teach you? What did I show you? You, you can take profit when profit's there, can't you? But what, when we're printing profit, we want to make at least 15 pips. But if we're printing money, we can print money as long as you like. But you notice that you always should. Your drawdown's gone. Uh, your drawdown's gone up. Your margin's gone down. If we print that one, our drawdown, this will drop back to four. We're both in a profit. If you took all those off right now, you would make a profit. And that would be no problem. You wouldn't have to do anything else. You've just printed money, haven't you? You've just printed money. That's what we want to learn. Next is drawdown control. What do we do when we're printing money? We also can look at our chart, can't we? Uh -huh. We can look at our chart at any time and say we've got a New Zealand JPY and we've got a, another one. Let's go back and look. Let's go back. We had a New Zealand JPY. It's going up to the next resistance. What we should have been buying is that down here, it's gone past Friday's close. Look at the open and close prices. These are all things you will learn. The open price and the close price. It's a long day on these these ones. What is it saying here? Buy, buy, buy. What have we done? What have we done? We've simply bought. Did, did we print money? Yes, we printed money. Printed money is easy. Anyone can trade and print money. If we took these two off now, and we'll do it just for you, and we're closing the order. Trade context is busy. Aren't they a lot of the locks? What can you do when you get brokers that are, are just playing games with the customers? Brokers, businesses are criminals. They're criminals sometimes. Why? Because you try taking money off them. They hate it. They don't like you. You're terrible. So they're out to stop you. So I suggest you always use a broker that doesn't try and con you. Yeah. Look at the uh, broker's spread. It's steady, isn't it? But look, he, he's not going to let you take it. You want to, you want to sell, and he wants you. He doesn't want you to sell it. He wants to take the money off you. This is the problem in brokers. You can see anyone can print money, make money, take profit. Okay, we have a, have a little system on there, but we but what's frustrating? We want to put it on the next one, other orders, and we'll go back here. Look at them. There is the US dollar, the New Zealand. We've got them. We can't get the Australian. And there's a little cell here, and I mean it's not in the top three, but it's still a, a nice one to look at. So maybe US dollar CHF, maybe we could put a cell on that one. It should go up a little bit. This is an indicator. We do, if you're trading, you can put your trades on here and watch your drawdown and learn drawdown control. That was what it was about. Huh? Okay, another point. I'm looking at a, a trading room of dojis on the air. I often go on there and look at it. I also uh, look at my own trading room occasionally if I have time. You can get on there, ask questions. If one of our guys are on there, they'll answer it. If they're not, we haven't got time. We're making money. Uh, we're making money. Isn't that terrible? The brokers hate us. The Forex factory, their the, the lobby group hate us. They keep throwing rotten names out at me and swearing. I don't need that hassle. 
learn to trade the forex watch us making money you've seen the trades well, can we close the order now will they let us no they're robbers what can we do I only want to close the order when they can take the money off you. Yeah. Okay, we want to put on an order. Can we do it? No, their traders' context is busy. But sometimes you find better tra better brokers. Better brokers don't keep saying their traders' context is busy. For instance, this one is quite good. Uh, but even that. Uh, Oanda is a particularly good one. And there are lots of good brokers, but there are some that are real bucket shop brokers. What? I want to take a profit? Can I do it? No! I'm not pulling this up. I'm not making this up. This is an actual fact of recognizing brokers that you don't want to trade. But look what we did. We transferred over. We, we managed to take one. <laughs> one trade. Just printing money. If you've got a bad broker, it's harder to print real money. Huh? Because look at his context. Let's look at his actual hedge. Look at his hedge, his, his wit. He doesn't want to let you take it. He, he, he certainly doesn't want that. We can click on it and he, he'll, that'll be for an hour while he decides when you can take profit or make a loss. They're uh, criminals. Real criminals. Anyone can print money. You don't need to know all the indicators, all the systems in the world. Anyone can print money. The only thing in trading is learn drawdown control. And we're going to go over that and show you by if we can put on some trades here later on. And if I can just go back and find a trade, let's find a trade. We want the Australian dollar, the great British pound, uh, sell US dollar. Well, that's an interesting one, a sell. Can we put on a sell? Let's look at it. New order. What was it? Great British pound, US dollar, a sell. That's in, in, in accordance with the 101 hedge. Sell. Can we sell that? Are they going to allow us? No, nothing. They're all too busy to let us go on. Why? They hate they hate people taking money off them. Especially live. Oh dear. See? It's busy. Okay. But you get the point. One can make money trading. It's simple. It's easy. Follow the rules. Learn them. Practice. Practice. See how we're doing it? We could put that uh, trade on here. And we're going to do it on the Australian dollar. Let's see if this broker is a little bit more honest is he more honest and we're going to put it on here and it's going to mess it up a little bit but we've got to show you i've got to show you this is this a more honest uh we're going to look for the australian dollar can we put on a, another uh can we put on two just let's put on two huh? Bye. see great british pound u.s dollar can we put on one of them? Yeah, what was it? It was a sell, wasn't it? We've got to look at We're putting on a buy. We're going to put on a sell. And we've got to find the great British pound for the US dollar. Where are we? Come on. Let's find it. Here we are. And we're going to put on a sell. Okay. We did it. All right. We put on a point two cells, and that was a system you'd wait till they go down into the down to these top lines and take a profit. But if we go back over onto the other one, and you saw we just did it, and who's the criminal here? Uh, yeah, uh, we'll put a great uh, British pound, US dollar. We'll try and put on a sell. Are they going to let us now? If they let us now, they're ready to rip us off. Come on, let's see. Trade context. No, because we'll make money. This is one of the oldest tricks in the book. I can't even sell the profits. <laughs> Can you believe it? You cannot even sell the profits. Let's be honest with you. 
Some brokers are waiting and waiting and playing their games. Brokers play games. The best you can try and do is find a broker that is an honest broker that will allow you to play the right game. Notice always it goes from loss. Straight away when you put on the order it goes loss profit. We're waiting for those 0.2 trades to re come down into the profit area and when they're in a profit, we take profit. That's the name of the game. That's the first lesson in Rijon. So it's showing you that US, uh, US guys over there can control your drawdown, use another demo, and watch your margin. Look at the margin on this because it's a, a, a very high account, of course. But look at the margin. You control your margin on here, and if it was an honest broker, you can close that in, but you can't. Okay, bye for now. God bless. Later on we'll close those orders, but maybe. <laughs> okay, bye for now. Anyone can print money. Managing your drawdown is where real traders go. Practice, practice first. Become profit conscious. Next, learn drawdown. God bless from Brian.